Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Team Fortress TV, the home of European Team Fortress 2 for our ETF 12 Premiership Division Season 38 Week 1 game between Aura Electra and the Bus Crew. My name is Lucky. I'm joined tonight by Shears on production and Dave as my co cast. How's it going, man? I'm doing well. Looking forward. We're into a new season now uh, in ETF 12, and we've got a couple of interesting teams to check out. So, we've got on one side, we've got the Bus Crew who we saw came through uh, the qualifier, of course. And returning, of course, we've got Faint Gaming. Both these teams kind of played last season. Uh, they finished, Faint were in third, and the bus crew were finishing fourth in the end. So they both made playoffs. But the the big difference between them was the Faint, Faint have kept their entire roster from last season, whereas the bus crew have changed it up and only have two re returning players. Indeed. I mean, the bus crew have always had that core sort of unit of players with Poison, Yon, Martin. Yon, obviously, returning from the dead. Actually, I'm just going to quickly run down the new bus crew roster so everyone knows what the hell we'll talk about uh, before they get mental. So, scout, uh, the scouts have got Slash and Hempus on the Roma. We've got Poison moving away from his pocket roll and taking up that pocket roll. It's warped. Then we've got Yon on demo and Martin as the medic. So, um, that that roster, you know, contains Yon, Poison, and Martin, but they picked up Warp Slash and Hempus, uh, new players, as you mentioned, uh, to this roster. So uh, look forward to seeing how they've gelled, uh, because they had some time uh, during the preseason uh, to get nice and warmed up and feel themselves out a little bit. How do you feel about this roster, Dave? It's a pretty interesting looking roster. Obviously, as you say, you've got a lot of players who do have a lot of synergy, have played together a lot before. But you've also got, like, the... Scout is obviously the most powerful class in TF2, as we know right now. And you've got two scouts who are completely new to Premiership. They're both uh, going to be debutants. It's very interesting, though, because you've got uh, Hempus, who has been around kind of the top level, kind of Div 1 high for a long, long time. And then Slash, who's much, much newer. In fact, you can see Hempus, I think it was back in Season 26, was the first time he played a qualifier. And this is now the first time he's playing Prem, uh, season 38. So he's he's been around kind of the top level for a while. Whereas Slash played his first actual season, season 30. So he's he's a lot fresher. Yeah, he's a lot fresh off of the canvas. Uh, on the other side, we talked about Buster for quite a little bit and uh, all their players and stuff. So we're going to ping over to the other roster. We've got Faint Gaming. Uh, as you mentioned previously, uh, they have remained together for a long period of time now. They're rocking the roster, uh, roster of Voxy, Yeehaw on the Scouts, Opti on the Roma, Hugo on Pocket, Mac on Demo, Vanny on the Medic class. Um, so this roster is, they've been getting better and better with age. I mean, third place last season, third place in the GG Tour, losing out to some pretty high-ranking teams. And uh, Fane Gaming really looking to... Uh, Maybe secure a season. Uh, they've been doing really, really well um, as far as it goes uh, with playing and scrims and stuff. It looks like they've been very hot on it. Hugo's been getting absolutely insane at the video game. Opti is just a star player. So this roster is um absolute powerhouse, I'm going to go ahead and say. Yeah, yeah, very, very strong roster. Uh, I think they'll benefit a lot from the fact they've kept six players back from last season. Obviously, you know, I think they're going to really go from strength to strength. Finishing, you know, a very creditable third last season. They'll be looking, particularly uh, with the scent dropping out uh, very early into this season, uh, it, they'll be looking perhaps, you know, first, second place would certainly be on the cards for them. Yeah, definitely. I think the, the bus crew is, um, you know, they, they've got these players back, maybe a little bit washed out and some new blood as well coming into the team is going to make them a little bit rusty coming into the season. Um, but I've actually got high hopes for the bus crew. Everyone knows I'm a bit of a bus crew simp. Um, I love Poison, love me some Warped, I love the gameplay. Martin, a uh, pretty incredible medic. Yon, obviously, is an absolute charisma unit. Um, not that that's going to help him out with killing enemies in video games, but there you go. All around nice players. Um, so I'm excited to see how they do in the, in, in the season. I'm predicting most likely a fourth slash fifth, um, potentially making playoffs and see how they do in those. Um, but I can only think... That after this game, they've got a pretty hard week one going up against Faint Gaming, you know, already established roster, feeling pretty hot off the press after the tournament that they just played in. And, I mean, Warped actually got to play for them during that tournament as well. So Warped's going to have some inside knowledge on how they like to play the video game. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see. I mean, yeah, Warped played, I think, all the, all the cup with them in the end. And to be honest, he had very, very kind of good synergy, uh... 
with with the team as a whole. I think the other soldier was Geordie as well, so it was weird that they completely changed up both the soldiers, but still performed very, very well. Like uh, It was only Nerd Rage and the mixed team that came in were able to beat them. I think the mixed team was pretty powerful, though. You know, they, they had some well, yeah. insane players on their team. Um, it was unfortunate as well for, uh, for Nerdbury during that tournament that they actually uh, couldn't use uh, couldn't use Kunu, who was uh, unavailable, or now knows more Alexi. Um, he was he wasn't playing in the tournament, and he is you know he's one of the players of their team that really makes Nerdbury Nerdbury. Um, so unfortunate for them during the tournament they couldn't quite seal it out but they don't have to worry about it this season on Nerd Rage uh, they only have to worry about Faint Gaming and uh, I say only it's <laughs> these guys are due to smash um, but our week one maps we're looking at process and sh- sunshine so pretty speedy pretty soldier oriented on the speed bombs uh, for Opti I feel like especially coming into this map yeah I mean classically you'd definitely say they are both sort of scout maps uh the scouts are likely to top frag they're likely to put the damage in lead all the pushes uh whereas you know they're not quite as spammy as some of the other maps potentially like metalworks granary that we've seen both come in but yeah the sold obviously uh process is perhaps defined by like it's very very fast transitions and what we've seen from faint gaming in scrims and in tournaments in recent weeks is just how good they are at doing those transitions getting really really aggressive any advantage they have they can just push super super quickly yeah i'm predicting it's going to be a yeehaw bang fest this man is a dm machine yeehaw is just going to tear them asunder on these mid fights um i feel like he's going to be the one to look at in this game the guy is going to be dictating the pace and making the frags and voxy on the flank is uh you know, on, I think Voxy really, really shines on mid fight. He has really uh, good synergy with uh, with Yeehaw on the mids, as well as playing around Vanny, the med, um, even though he's a flank scout. So, um, yeah, I feel like these scouts are going to run a little bit havoc, warped and poison. Um, I guess they're going to just be going for a little bit of desperation, but I feel like they're not going to have much impact in this game. So it's going to be down to Yon Slash and Hempy to um, dictate the pace and try and stop the enemy soldiers from doing stuff. But Opti is just known for slipping in places you do not want him in. Yeah, and uh, yeah, both kind of both these teams to a certain extent they play like both of their scouts are likely to take a lot of heals, and both of their soldiers don't take as many. I mean, I think Hugo is the kind of the quintessential sort of second Roma pocket style. Mm-hmm. Uh, so obviously, you know, he, him and Opti do have really really good synergy. They can uh, they're kind of timed coordinated bombs are really really impressive. And you you you'll often see like the constant one of them will go in, fake out, jump back out, and then the other one will go in. That kind of classic sack into second. Mm. I do feel like uh, in this game it's going to be much of the bus crew trying to um, iron out the kinks in their gameplay. I think we're going to see a bit of inconsistencies uh, coming up from them. But I'm still excited to see what happens in regardless. Um, any predictions coming out from you on this map one? And what do you reckon scoreline wise? What do you reckon is going to happen? I think this first map is going to be pretty close. I'll certainly give the edge to Faint. I'd say maybe 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one to Faint. That's a bold prediction. I've got to stick with my boys. The bus crew. Got to stick with them. All the way. I'm going to put all my all my dollar bills on the bus crew winning this game. Um, so, hmm, I think we're going to see a 2-0 uh, bus crew victory. Sure. They're going to literally park that bus uh, in this game. That's, that's, that's my prediction. I've got it in the back. Trust me. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen, I saw their qualifier and they looked very, very solid. Like, they're a very strong team. They have their fundamentals down. Don't make a lot of mistakes. They're not often the most, like, absolutely exciting team to watch, uh, but they are very, very well structured. Yeah, I feel like that's what they bring to the table in terms of their gameplay. A nice structured approach to uh, playing the game of Team Fortress 2. Back to basics almost, but very reliable and uh, strong. Who is going to be the first person that dies on this mid fight? Tell me, I, who do you reckon? I will guess Opti. You're gonna guess Opti's gonna die first. I'm gonna put all I'm gonna put my chips on poison being fragged first. As we are actually going live, ladies and gentlemen. So welcome to our season 38 week one game between the bus crew and Faint Gaming as we are hitting our rollout. I'm gonna be following Jan to this mid. He's gonna be zooming through this choke point nice and early on. He's gonna be making his way to the point immediately. Grabbing up that pack, Opti is in nice and fast. He's gonna be taking out that high ground spam a few rockets into choke as they take the high ground off of them. Hempy taking that left hand side. It's gonna be Faint Gaming taking that right hand side to a nice mirror mid coming out here. Opti's gonna be jumping away just to rejoin his team. 
team. They managed to move, uh, throwing some stickies up in the air just to make sure no one can take that crit. As we are seeing a nice rotation mid uh, coming out here. Very clockwork like Hugo going to be going in for a high bomb though. Nice and deep and high going in towards Poison. Lots of damage down. It's going to be Hempy dying first. Obviously super weak behind needs an arrow and Vanny is super weak also. And both medics here playing in their irrespective choke points. But Fake Gaming very happy to stand on this point and start capping it out. And they can start moving towards second, Dave. Uh, but it looks like Bus Crew are going to be wanting to come back in with this Uber charge they've got. They've got to chase them now into the enemy half of the map. Oh no, the completely got around behind them. Just complete rotations on them. And they've already got cap time on last. It is cleaned up. Hempus onto Hugo, I believe. The, the Uber's coming back onto last. I think they'll be able to clean up the demo man, Mac. He does go down. Uber traded uh, from the other side from Bus Crew. Uh, it did it did come in, sorry, from uh, Faint into the shutter. But we're going to see a little bit of a reset, and they do have second point. They are trying to uh, take it off them, though. Trying to get some uh, pain back in the dungeon, as it were, back into second point with Poison. Very, very weak. Hempy getting killed as well. It's going to be Poison going now. Opti actually getting cleaned up on the far side. So only four up for the side of the bus crew. It's going to open up opportunities here for Faint Gaming to get in. Hugo's going to be bowling over to that right-hand side, taking a bit of space for his team. They've got Slash up on that heavy. Hugo going in for a bomb now in towards Slash. Tons of damage down to him. Still alive for Slash. Getting, getting arrows from Martin, but actually goes down in the end. Warped also getting absolutely nuked. Uh, by Mac at range, both medics going to be building their Ubers relatively even. Vanny with a slight advantage, didn't have to fire a single arrow during all of that. Yeehaw dropping down to Yon's head, trying to build, do a bit of damage there, gets a headshot by Poison. Uh, he's going to be opti bombing in towards Yon, trying to clean up that frag. Actually does find it, it's going to be a little bit of a reset. Vanny eventually collects that Uber charge, Martin now has his, as both teams just going to chill out, two down and sort of faint. The bus crew, all their gamers were just sat in that one sport door for a good minute there. They just coming in one by one from Faint Gaming's side, just about cleaned up. There's a lot of oh, time down with us. The damage! He was just holding on five, drops down on four, and absolutely nukes them. That's incredible gameplay from him holding off them on last. Now they're going to be able to push out here, Dave. Sticky's currently on lower. And it looks like they're trying to mount some kind of defense, potentially taking a trade. Opti is two weeks to continue. Yeho also two weeks to continue. No back cap threat. They're going to be able to take second. Yeah, clearly on second, just off those picks. Uh, it's going to perhaps go to a little bit of a stalemate. You see no off classes so far. So the spawns have come up. They're going to be able to hold mid here on faint, and they're going to be very comfortable. They're going to be relaxing, chillaxing as they go into the stalemate. We're going to see what they want to do here. If they've got any fancy plays up their sleeves, it looks like it's going to be an IT rush. Poison currently, he knows about this apparently. He's just going to be standing back in top IT, not worried about giving up all that space. As you shouldn't be when you've got scouts on the high ground just watching from above. And not a lot they're going to be able to do to get in here. It looks like they're well aware. There's an Opti from Choke. Whiffs his jump. Absolutely floors it. It's going to be Voxy going in behind. He gets the drop onto Martin. So Voxy sliding in through lower IT is going to find that frag that they needed. And now Busker are going to need to make some kind of rebuttal. Yeah, eyes were all looking on uh, Opti, but Voxy was the one who came in. Gets the drop. Now they've got to deal with this 100% Uber. They're opting to take it through the sewer area. There are a lot of stickies they have to worry about. Yeehaw is aware of them though. He does check. They are, are just about cleared. But you can see how far back the bus crew. Only Yon peaking. They do not want to lose any frags on this second point. Big bombs come in. But there's absolutely no one to target. They're going to take second for free. Yeah, Hempy is going to be happily building that central column up on the right-hand side, but they're taking lobby already. Hugo has spotted out the gun. They're going to be taking the Uber in pretty much immediately through four. They do pop it out. Popping the demo man in with the soldier. They destroyed the central gun. Sticky's currently on points. So they can't play it just yet. Trying to clear them up. The Uber has now faded. Hempy up on the heavy. Hugo is above the spawn door. Getting lots of damage. The bomb comes in. They're going on to towards point here. Poison's doing a great job of walking on a sliver of HP. And they are going to manage to hold it for the time being, but the scout unfortunately pistol whips down poison, so no one is left to defend that point. It's going to be the first round going the way of faint. Yeah, you can see Hugo, he went in behind, they weren't quite aware of where he was, and he got so much damage down onto them when they were stuck in that spawn. Mac then came in with crucial pipes, and just the couple of survivors came and cleaned up the point. Yeah, very easy uh, point take there from the side of faint gaming. 1-0 up in this first match in process. Uh, Matt getting damage very early on. Nice sticky there from Yon, dealing a hefty 80 damage shot uh, to his face. Hempy and Slash can be taking the high ground there as we do see a warp bomb in. Going towards Mac, tons of damage onto him. Poison's there with a the cleanup. And they've got a bomb on the other side, but Hugo goes in nice and deep. That's two down to the side of Faint Gaming. They're going to get the hell out of mid immediately. Yeah, beautiful focus fire. You can see the scouts in complete synchronization there. Slash and Hemp 
now they're going to try and barrel forward into second. They're already taking space really, really far back here from Faint. Perhaps we're going to see Opti do something, but he does opt to go to last. Absolutely no contestion. Second point is down, but Uber is up for both teams. Yeah, Martin's up to 100%. Now Yeehaw's going to get on the engineer class and start building a sentry around. So the bus crew to try and stop them from doing anything along those lines. But what gets in with the bomb and actually gets the force into Vanny. Great reach from him, noticing the gun wasn't even being built yet. So able to just absolutely annihilate them there and they're not going to be able to do anything. And Martin has his Uber charge ready. They're just going to wait for what to make this push happen. Yeah, they're going to wait for their supporter there. Uh, obviously, they were expecting the sentry gun to go up. Fanny must have felt a little bit safer than it was, but yeah, excellent really play from Walk there to see that like, s slight window of opportunity. Now they're going to try and walk in from five. Hempus has peaked, it doesn't see a sniper, only has to worry about the two big fat classes, the heavy and the engineer. The gun does go down, they are in quite deep on this right hand side. A little bit of cap time being played by Hempus. A lot of position here. Uh, the Uber is not going to come in, but so many frags go down. Uh, the Heavy picking up two of them, the Opsy picking up another two. It's just Jon and Martin, they're going to scatter. Yeah, it looks like they unfortunately whiffed everything there. Martin, in fact, getting taken down by Yeehaw in IT. Not a lot can be done there. Yon still alive, but we're going to be able to place a sticky trap on the mid as Feng Gaming. Clan second going to be heading in towards the mid now, and it's going to be Poison and Hempy just on the respawner here, just going to be coming all the way towards mid. Walked on the high ground, looking to double spam onto Vanny, just to maybe try and get him to use through, but unfortunately not enough damage comes in. They're able to take up mid with their 100% Uber. Martin has only just started building, so this Uber advantage that they've claimed is absolutely massive. Fame Gaming are opting to come through IT. Uh, Going to be taking it in through lower. Hopefully, they don't have to use through here. And they do, in fact, Mac actually bombing in, and they're not able to find too much here. We've got Warped actually out in second, who is willing to risk his life for the force anyway. Poison going down. Warped has to bomb all the way back. Two currently down, because Warped is unable to rejoin the final last. It's like they're opted to go into last already. Vox is quite deep, he's getting capped on already. He's gonna have to deal with a heavy though, and with no Uber to deal with. The focus fire is really, really good from both soldiers to take out the heavy. All the gamers die on the point, and it is the second round here for Faint. Opti with a signature pickaxe kill on the last point there. Uh, 2 0 as the scoreline with eight minutes only taken off of the clock so far. Faint game gonna be feeling themselves now. Coming into this next mid fight, very classical play from them, noticing that no soldiers alive means easy free entryway in towards last, even off Uber. So very nicely done from them there. Yon to make his way in towards mid, and Mac is already sitting up in this choke, wants to just receive an arrow. Uh, Yon is more confident though, goes all the way for the pack, actually collects that, and now has a more aggressive position uh, on this mid fight here. Both scouts still once again just mirroring each other here. Moving all the way across the right, loads of damage onto Vanny. Vanny super weak, eventually gets cleaned up though. Martin, although, is in the same level of peril, getting bombed by Hugo and Core, and then Looks like Yon also getting bombed in the choke. It's just going to be Hempy and Slash left on this mid to try and fight against multiple players. Hempy, the last survivor for the side of the bus crew. Yeah, absolute okay. chaos going down there. Both big soldier bombs coming in, pick up the respective medic. Hempus will probably pick up Opti here. He does just about win that 1v1. Cap will come out for faint here, and really, the bus crew, they needed kind of a dominating mid fight there, and they didn't get it. Unfortunate for them. Uh, it looks like they're going to be able to come on towards second, though. Martin actually still. Uh, able to keep an even Uber situation going because Vanny also died on that mid fight, so they're just going to be looking to set up some kind of stalemate. Um, but I think the Buscar are going to have more things in mind than just a stalemate. They've got uh, they've got a whole 20 minutes to play with, so it's time for plenty of rounds still. Uh, but still going to be aware that they are down on rounds and need to make something happen. Yeah, they don't have to worry about the timer too much, as you say. It'd be interesting if they'd gone for a crit streak there. They would have actually got quite a considerable advantage that they would have been able to work off. As it is, it is not going to be a pushable advantage. They've only built like 10 or 20% better. So that's not really going to be pushable at this level. Uh, we're going to see a little bit of a stalemate. No off classes yet. Probably see some kind of soldier bomb, I imagine, quite soon. Yeah, it looks like they are just trying to set up here. Getting buffed over by IT. Looks like Hugo is going to jump in, not find anyone. Because Poison, once again, holding very defensively. Voxy's going to be going in. We've got Opti coming from the choke point, just causing a distraction. Nice bomb from him. Good damage onto Martin, but Martin holds that Uber on 20 HP. Lovely stuff from him. Yeah, opportunity now to counter sack, but neither soldier is really buffed here on the bus crew. Uh, see, I think it's Warp's taking a little bit of position. Sewer, speaking this now, getting just a little bit of spam down. It's really just a positioning game to see if they can get poison in. He does go in but gets cleaned up easily enough and Hugo went down at the same time on the opposite side. 
you guys should be doing quite a lot of damage as you came through that doorway there, like a bull in a china shop, uh, absolutely destroying people in his way, but looks like they're going to be catching exactly the same respawner, so Fink Gaming once again, a bit of a snooze fest, resident sleepers out in chat if you please, um, for this, uh, for this stalemate that's happening on the second point, but, um, Mac once again sticking up this choke point and just peeking kind of wide onto Martin, trying to spot where he's at. No, he's on the point, but both scouts on the high ground. This hold is kind of difficult to break. Yeah, it's, you're not going to really be able to break it unless you get a really, really clean soldier bomb. And we've seen uh, uh, some bombs come in. You go really, really high in the air. This Opti does land on the mid. It gets a lot of damage down there onto Martin back to as low as 40 health at one point, but there wasn't really the follow-up. Mac wasn't really in a position where he could spam pipes. There wasn't a, a scout in mind. I mean, what what we saw earlier in the game was it was Voxy who made the big, big play by coming in through the flank. Maybe they'll opt to do that again. There is also the option. They could go for an off-class if they wanted, but neither team has gone for that option so far. <laughs> Valley's actually standing on top of the crate right now. Understands that, that bomb is going to come in. Needs to be on some kind of high ground position. Up, opting to just, you know, chill out on second here and just uh, bide their time, wait for a better opportunity to make a sack happen. Vanny playing on the high ground makes it insanely difficult for any soldier to get on top of him. Um, but potentially an off class would uh, do justice here for either team. And we do see that UR just spoiling the sniper is going to come all the way from Joke and make his way to this second point. It looks like they're already taking onto launch pad here through sewer and they're able to get that angle already set up. I think the bus crew are now going to be aware Martin's going to set up behind that sheet metal and sit absolutely still so he doesn't get absolutely domed by Yeehaw's that are now going to aim to open the shutter. They do open it and Yeehaw is watching Martin drops down immediately behind the point so no angle coming out for Yeehaw here as the bomb comes through from warp. Nice little deny there and they're just going to try and edge this angle as much as they can to try and get the sniper angle. Yeah, Yeehaw is not even taking a single shot that only on the soldier eventually. He's waiting for that really charged shot onto the medic. He obviously doesn't need a headshot. A charged body shot wouldn't do that 150 damage required. A uh, couple of players peeking him with a little bit of spam coming in, but he's been really, really patient here. The door's been held open all the time. They have to be really scared of this, the bus crew. Yeah, they have to be absolutely terrified. There's not a lot they can really do here. They do take down Boxy, and Warp's is going to bomb it immediately in towards Sewer, just getting so much space for their team. And Poison's already set up and ready to go, and Hempy actually going down there. A nice long-range pipe into the choke map, taking him down. A bit of a blunt there as Warp also goes in, tries to get a kill onto Vanny, but can't quite do it and get the distance. So two down on the side of the bus crew. Boxy is going to be catching his respawn, and they've got a massive player out to play with here. Yeah, a lot of space is going to open up for Yeehaw now with two gamers down. There's a lot less spam coming out from Warped, but also a lot of space they can take with Hempers down. The pocket scout, he takes a couple of shots, but there's now we see a big, big soldier bomb come. <laughs> He's going, it seemed he was going for the sniper Yeehaw, he really had some kind of vendetta against him. But now we're going to see him open the door once more. They're trying to peek out desperately trying to find something, but the bus crew hop is just there. I feel like Fame Gaming have an opportunity here to just take space, uh, considering how passive the bus crew are playing in the position they're currently in. Potentially send players in behind or send them directly in for soldier sacks, even though they've got the sniper in play. They need to change the pace. So they're going to try and bro uh, break this bus crew hole, because at the end of the day, if they let it tick down on timer, uh, they're not going to be in a favorable position. First headshot actually bring it out there on towards Warp, and he is able to survive very nicely. Um, with that massive buff, but Hempy getting headshot there. First frag comes in, so now they're taking this place inside of Fame Gaming, just waiting for that to happen. Uh, looks like Vox is going to be running up the high ground. Poison's about to get pincered in IT by Opti and Voxy at the same time. Looks like Voxy's now going in to help him. Uh, Poison actually finding the frag onto Voxy there, and also going on Opti and trades out very well. Poison going absolutely huge in the IT area. Yeah, not the classes. Obviously, with Voxy going down, there's like no scouts now uh, for Fame Gaming, so. If the bus crew wanted to make something happen, they'd have to go for it now. The problem is they're going from IT and Yeehaw is in kind of position to go for something. They have to pop through super, super early. I think it was actually uh, Hugo who forced that. Uh, but they back up. The Uber came out, but they got absolutely nowhere near Vanny, and now it's going to be a full ad for faint. Yeah, I feel like the sniper pressure also adds to the stress of needing off to use that, use out that Uber. And oh my god, Martin got headshot by Yeehaw! That was the crispiest, only just getting around the corner headshot I think I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it looks like they're going to be able to secure a massive, massive Uber advantage here. They already had 100% Uber ad to play with, but it looks like Martin in the respawn queue. No buffs 
on the side of the bus crew is going to call for that push to come in. No traps from Yon currently. He's just got stickies on the point. Going to be trying to juggle this Uber out, but it looks like the Uber comes all the way to the spawn. They haven't managed to find any frags with it just yet. Poison getting weak. Walk bombing in towards the point. Hempy's out in the heavy. No one's there to block the point. That's going to be 3 0 to Fame Gaming. Yeah, Fame played that really, really well. They just uh, pushed them into the left spawn and then made. Mac rotated over, make sure the right spawn was locked down. There was absolutely no threat of anything else coming in. Poison was a mile behind uh, while all that was going on. But they only had to worry about that one spawn that they could have come out of, and Mac absolutely destroyed it. Yeah, easy peasy for the side of thing. Gaming, very classic push there coming out from them on Uber Ad. So 3-0 in this first map, looking very dominant. Uh, they're trying to do want to get a mirror mirror, but the right-hand side coming up for Martin here, just going to be bringing his heels all the way across with his scouts. and. Uh, Vanny's still currently trapped towards his choke. Mac is getting mega damage. Yeehaw manages to find a pack. Hugo going down on the high ground there. Destroyed by the scouts. Obviously trying to rejoin the fight as he jumps all the way back towards the choke point. Does rejoin with Vanny there. We're going to be receiving a buff. Ready to go for his bomb. Looks like they're going to be edging all the way around again. Clockwork mid coming out here. Boxy getting pressured away from the other side of the map, looks like. Neither team going to be playing the point here. We get the bomb coming in from Warts. Going to be retreating through. Opti is now isolated. Super weak needs an arrow from Vanny. Um, looks like the pipe's coming across and mega damage has been dealt. Mac also still dead in the respawn queue. Opti looking like he's trying to do something on this mid fight. Gets absolutely destroyed by Warts in a very slow mid fight and finally comes to a conclusion. Yeah, the bus crew have seemed to have just the slight edge of these mid fights. The scouts are taking the high ground better and they're focus firing much better. And when you've got those scouts on the high ground on process mid, it's very, very difficult for anything to deal with them. Only really the demo coming out. We've seen a little bit of a fight here on second take us through it, lucky. It looks like they're going to be taking this Uber trade. Lots of flashing coming out from the side of the bus crew. Unfortunately, there. Uber's going to be burning off a little bit faster here. Hugo getting on flashed eventually. Looks like the flank of the bus crew, however, is mega deep. So they're able to get all six players in on this fight. And uh, they're trying to take this high ground off of them right now. Mac is a mega damage. Hugo also getting damage in that corner. But they do find the damage. And they're able to get on top of everyone. And that's going to be a wipe for the bus crew. Good damage from Mac. Meaning they can take that fight in the end. Beautiful collapse there. Soldiers come in at the perfect time. Just landing on those retreating players. They all get mulched. Mac was absolutely beasting them. And now it's 3-0. And they're taking mid. And they're going to flood into second here. Absolute domination at the moment. Yeah, Martin up now, and it's going to be an 80% uber advantage for Vanny. That's what I like to call basically a full ad um, for the side of Faint Gaming. So looking like they want to take another round off the bus crew. Sticking that forward spawn, no mistakes, going to be coming out for the side of Faint Gaming. And the bus crew are able to set up with an engineer on this last point. Up to a level 2 sentry gun, and they've got the sniper up on the left-hand side. So that sniper pressure is going to mean that they're able to get some kind of pick potentially as the uber's coming in, or maybe force off that uber very early. And they do actually use that super... Pretty much immediately on towards the sentry gun. The sentry gun going down. Stickers are currently on points and are unable to play it. They're trying to clear it off right now. Hugo going to be jumping over. Create a bunch of space on towards Martin. Finding the kill onto him. So no Uber charge for the bus crew right now. But good damage from Mac there. A lovely 100 damage sticky straight in the middle of the enemies. That's going to be 4-0. Yeah, solid push again there uh, from Fate Gaming. You saw the bus crew, they changed it up a little bit. They tried to like do a really, really wide rotation over towards one. But of course, that left a lot, a lot of space for fake gaming to play the point a lot more. And as soon as those stickies were off it, the point just came down really quickly. Very, very good of fake gaming to notice that and play the cap so heavily. Yeah, very, very well read. Obviously, going down immediately at the start of the smith fight, getting greedy, trying to go for the pack, couldn't quite find it. And that's going to aim for the uh, faint gaming to just get the hell out of this mid fight. Four oh, up, Sticky's currently in choke, have not been cleared. Martin's going to be running all the way through them, however, unable to get the delf as no vision was acquired. They are able to cap out this midpoint, moving on towards second. Good momentum here for the side of the bus group. Yep, again, we see kind of the same kind of story that the bus crew are doing very, very well on the mid fights. Uh, but in game, we just seem to have the edge once you get off that mid fight, so. The bus crew, they have an opportunity there. I mean, it's, it's 4 0 down with 10 minutes. It would take kind of a monumental turnaround. But the mid fights are going well for them, and they, they just need to transition that into, you know, a lit, something going right for them outside of that. Yeah, looks like Yeehaw is going to be spawning up on the engineer, going to be building a sentry gun. Looks like they want to set up some kind of equal hold as uh, Slash actually going back to the forward spawn as Poison caught his respawner. So Slash is going to be up on the sniper class right now. Uh, going to be looking for some heads in towards this last point, maybe trying to find a medic or two. Vanny is going to be super safe, sitting next to the wall. Voxy's up on heavy, so they're going to be able to watch all the doors. Um, that sentry gun wants us up as well. Vanny's going to have dispenser armor, so they need to make the most of this time that they have. Uh, my old Fate Gaming are not fully set up. 
Yeah, this is a very standard hold you see against the slope. I, I assume they are aware of it. I didn't see anyone check the off class, but they're holding when you hold oh very close. They managed to get the force. Walt jumps in when the gun gets moved and gets the force. That is incredible reading from him. Able to notice that they moved the gun and then make the bomb happen. That was excellent maneuvers there from Walt. Wow. Yeah, that's the second time we see that in the game. He, I don't know if he has perhaps really, really good ear for like when the engineer is telling everyone that he's moving that gear up but it comes in the perfect time and gets the force and now we're going to see an uber advantage push into last yeah very nicely done from the side of bus crew 50 percent uber charge up for vanny so if he's able to survive on this last point for long enough we'll be able to get it yon now going to be coming in in towards the sentry gun layers up those stickies like a cake and it is absolutely gone time for that sentry gun moving this uber all the way across looks like they're going for a bit of a kill uber and looks like they're going to be playing the point at the same time trying to draw those eyes out and towards the point hugo gets arrow very nice arrow there from vanny obviously on the low ground here super super weak looks like they're going to be trying to continue this fight hempus is going to be running all the way back towards the lobby to try and get some health back but it looks like it's going to be a bit of a whiff uh coming out from the side of the bus crew heading back into the second yeah, it wasn't a complete collapse, but they just didn't quite get enough cap time. The scout went towards it, but both of the soldiers were instantly in position to bomb. Opti and Hugo landing perfectly on that scout, just pulling him back and making sure there was no chance of a cap coming in. Ooh, Hugo only just surviving there, actually getting air shot there by Warped and Manchester still survive, and the rest of the bus crew are going to be able to escape in towards mid. Warped on that 8 second respawn of Poison, actually getting back spawn there, so up to a 7 second extra respawner. And Martin now has his Uber to play with, so they're going to have to take this trade here. And already flashing coming out from both medics here, and it's going to be Ubers getting burned. Vanny has to escape with a different direction for the rest of his team, however, and that's a pretty big disaster with Foxy there after that Uber trade, so. Uh, giving Vasker an opportunity here to take some space uh, in towards Sua and get second potentially. Yeah, they didn't see that push from IT for an absolute aid, but the Uber trade did not go well for them. We now see a little bit of aggression coming, but they've taken a lot of space on this second point. A lot of frags go down as well, though. Uh, the bus crew are going to be able to roll this in, and you're going to see faint get all back to last. They've got the heavy out. Uh, they've also got a banner coming out. It's going to be Battalion's backup from Opti. He's blown it, but he hasn't released it yet. Yeah, he's holding on to that battalion. I'm not sure how long he's to be holding on to that for, because there's no Ubers for a few seconds here from both medics, and no pushes are going to happen. He's going to be holding on to that banner for a long time. I don't know. He, he might just have to use it just so he can, uh, you know, shoot rockets at the enemies, but I have yeah. no idea what he's going to do here. It's essentially a gamer down while he's holding that. There's a lot of spam is kind of reduced from the defensive side. I mean, you can already see the posturing they take in lobby. They only have to worry about the one class's spam and a little bit from the heavier long range. But, I mean, if they wanted to commit, like the battalion's backup gives you so much uh, of a defensive buff that they could perhaps even go for a force if they wanted to. Looks like that's what they do. Both soldiers come in. Martin's nice and far, but they do pick up Hempers. I don't know if they're going to get much else. He's really far forward now with the banner. It's taken an age to kill him with that buff, but Optum does just about go down. That damage reduction is absolutely nuts. The fact that he took a 10 damage rocket from Warped on the ground speaks volumes. That is absolutely insane that he nearly got on top of Martin there. But nice try anyway, nonetheless. Obviously, he's going to have to rebuild that banner if he's going to go for it. Actually going on a spy class right now just so he can check to see what off-classes they've got as Warped gets domed by Yeehaw in lobby. Nice spot from him to find that frag. Yeah, they almost got another one, but Kent just, just about sneaking out this time. It's a little bit luckier this time. Gets out. I mean, if they'd lost two, though, we could have potentially seen a rebush. But with just Warp going down, uh, we'll probably not see much. But they are taking a lot of position here in lobby from Fen. They like to get aggressive, they like to push. And with it being 4 0 with five minutes left, there's nothing really to stop them. There's no fear. Yeah, no fear whatsoever from them. I mean, they're still not opting to get the sentry gun up. I feel like they don't think that they're going to be on last for too long, so committing to a full sentry gun, maybe not uh, the best usage of their time. Also, if they try to set up a sentry gun now, it could be difficult. Yeehaw actually getting headshot there by Slash, so uh, the counter sniping has been engaged uh, from the side of the bus crew. Hempy is going to be running all the way in on the side. Martin actually getting forced off there. Nice uh, trade coming out from the side of Hugo and Ho, and they're going to be able to force them all the way back in lobby. Martin's going to be weak after the Uber as well. No health pack available in lobby. Uh, so they're just going to be chilling out and waiting here, it looks like, and they're just going to rebuild these Ubers. Yeehaw finally getting his respawner. Again, we see more smart play from Fate. They had the they had the lost Yeehaw, so a player down. 
And obviously, if they had gone back, they would have had to worry about that sniper peeking in super aggressively. As it is, they decided to trade into the lobby. Oh, we see a nice headshot there from Slash. So maybe we see a little bit more aggression now from the bus crew. Yeah, we're just going to get healed up. They're going to take lobby most likely and just try and snipe from three or four or five and see what angles they can sort of peek. A nice little bait play would just be to show all of your players in lobby and then send your sniper through one, get them to run all the way up and get a nice angle from one on towards the medic. Could be a suggestive play. I don't know. I'm not a prime player. Who knows? But Poison is basically doing that right now. And uh, he's peeking out, making some distractions so they can get more pressure in towards lobby. And Vanny has to use out the super onto Hugo. They're just going to take this trade once more. And Yon is just happy to take this trade with them. Uh, once again, toing and throwing, just winding down that clock though. Four minutes remaining uh, for the side of the bus crew to get four rounds on the board. So looking very unlikely. This hold from Faint has just driven that clock down so low uh, that they can't win this game anymore, more than likely. Yeah, we're going to have to see dry push i think coming in here slash did get a shot at the medic there but couldn't quite seal it up a flank there from hugo picks up both the medic and the sniper do we it's looking like a fail push here for the bus crew yeah it's looking like a bit of a, a bit of a disaster here for the side of the bus crew as they wipe coming in towards that last and it was making anything happen yon has actually called a gg um in this game so that is going to be our first map going the way of i think gaming here um, irregardless, three minutes that left. Where's our cathedral? Where's my GG plugin? I mean, they could go for it if they wanted. Uh, <laughs> we might see it in a minute. I think once it ticks down to three minutes, it does open up as a possibility for them. So we, we might see that coming in. in first match of the, uh, also second match of the season. It'd be interesting if we saw it from us. Trade coming in now. So it's like an Uber coming in now from uh, Fake Gaming. They're going quite deep. A really big bomb, Martin. Does surf out very, very nicely. Survives on 30 health. A re-aggression here. Hemper's picking up two. And Fanny, who was in fact who goes down. So while it is 4-0 and we're looking towards the end of this game, we see a little bit of a DM fest here. And in fact, <laughs> Martin is going down there. Yeah, Martin not even willing to save his logs there. He just runs in with his team. You know, die as, if you're going to lose together, you lose together, you know. Absolutely incredible um, stuff from the stuff from the bus crew there. Camaraderie dying in the end. Uh, Faint gaming here though, pretty dominant match all in all. Going to be uh, heading in towards second, uh, feeling themselves now. I think they're just going to be going for the 5-0 with the super advantage they've got on Banny. Yeah, they they want to make a statement and go for the 5-0. <laughs> uh, bus crew, commendably not going for the GG. They they would want to face it as men. Yeah, there is a big Uber advantage on Vanny. Uh, Faint are taking a little bit slow here. They're waiting, they're making sure everything's in order. Gonna have to deal with the Hemper sniper. He is in that around that left spawn area, very very standard. So we'd likely see one of the players pick up. They're gonna go through four though. They're going to get a lot of damage. The sentry gun goes down. No frags yet. Big big bomb coming in here from Hugo gets a little bit of damage down, but positioned beautifully there from Faint. Did a bit of collapse there by the soldiers Ooh. but so much cap time and they do clean it up and that's 5-0 to Faint. There you go Faint GG called from both teams and it's going to be going the way of Faint Gaming with an easy 5-0 on, on process as their first map. First map of the season they were going to see it again out towards week 7 process so, you know it's that everyone plays it map so Faint Gaming looking very very dominant in this series already. Um incredible stuff from them all in all i have to say very basic down-to-earth gaming from them as we get logs on the screen for you all to take a look at now and see who the real frags were in this game yeah big top frag coming in from opti in fact which is uh not exactly the most common thing to see the rumor i mean 15 percent heal rumor that's quite a lot for him but coming in with a big 24 frags that is a huge performance yeah opti has been getting Oh, I said that last season, Opti was like my player of the season almost, because he just absolutely destroyed in every game he played in, and was looking so, so positive coming towards the end of the season, and genuinely was winning games for Faint Gaming at one point, just by pulling out random medic frags there and everywhere, so I was super happy to see Opti uh, in this game, getting the space he, uh, space he could get, and getting loads of frags out, only getting 17 deaths, despite committing as much as he did, is also a very nice showing of his, his survivability in these games, also dealing a lot of damage um, in this game, 7.3k in fact, and taking only 5.9k, Opti just showing off it looks like in this game. Absolutely. The other big thing I see 
is the difference in the medic deaths. Martin died 11 times, Devani's only two. I mean, Martin is halfway up the leaderboard there in terms of deaths, so they need to keep him alive a lot better if they're going to perform better in this second map. And speaking of second map, we have Sunshine on the horizon. A bit of a... I'm not even going to say a different pace, actually, because it's still very scout-oriented um, on the on Sunshine. I do enjoy me a bit of Sunshine, personally. I think it's a great map. I've been enjoying it ever since it was the season. After I-60... Uh, I-65? Oh, yeah, I-65. After I-65 and I-63, even. Um, it was an incredible map that came into the pool, and we've seen a lot of European teams coming at it uh, with a bit of spice. Uh, each team bringing their own sort of thing to the table. Now, eventually, you've sort of come to a bit of a meta conclusion uh, that mid-fights are... You turn into, once again, a clock, like we saw in Process, where they just rotate around the midpoint and see where they can get fracked. Um, I've, I think, as well, it's going to be, once again... Some, want, some people have identified fast bombs on the mids, so Opti, once again, is going to be a little bit of a threat for the side of the bus crew. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh... One of the things I saw when I saw Bus Crews qualify is how effective the soldier bombs were on mid. Uh, Warped was pretty much always getting the medic, and that was really decisive on this mid fight. I mean, Sunshine, it is. I mean, people compare it to Process a lot because it does have like the very, very similar layout. You have those kind of three entrances to second, you have the lobby, and uh, the last point. So, very, very similar to Process and layout, but I, I think the big difference is the soldiers can do a lot, lot more in this mid fight. Yeah, I do agree. I think Hugo and Opti are going to be really taking it to them. I haven't seen Faint Gaming actually play Sunshine, uh, maybe because they banned it out quite a lot during the tournament. Um, I'm not sure why that is. Maybe they just don't prefer playing the map to other maps, but um, I feel like these soldiers are going to have a little bit of a field day. Um, there are some mid fights you can do, which are like the ultra crunchy mids, where you just kind of throw yourself at the enemy team with the high bombs that you're able to achieve by jumping off the walls. Um, it could be pretty potent overall. Uh, on the mid fights, so um, excited to see what they kind of pull out of these mid fights and see what they can do. Um, but coming through the rest of the map, it's going to be interesting to see if uh, the bus crew have different strategies um, and different ideas. Maybe they're just weaker on uh, process, and maybe they're going to favour sunshine. Possibly, but I mean, it's interesting that you say that about Frank Gaming that you haven't seen them because I, I did check a, I did take a look at uh, you know, a couple of their recent results on Sunshine, and they seem to be like very, very phenomenally powerful on this map. Oh no! Uh, I mean, it, it, that is definitely an ill omen for the bus crew, for sure, and bus crew fans. But I mean, I looked at the recent results. Uh, obviously, they won in that cup game, that third place game, six one against Global Clan. Then Ooh. they've had they've had recent scrim results. They beat Aura five zero, Nerd Raid seven two, and in the warm up they beat Garda six one. So they're they're always like just destroying teams on this map, at least. In recent times, the bus crew will have to hope that kind of scrim results, you know, don't match up to what actually happens in the official. Jesus, that's if those are the stats that we're looking at, we're looking at a pretty fast game for Faint Gaming here. I mean, if they're driving home the five win difference uh, victory limit, then I mean, it's going to be pretty terrifying if you're the sort of the bus crew coming into this, since you've just got win limited five zero on process. Um, uh, so, would you say your prediction then is with Faint Gaming? I'm going to go Faint Gaming 5-0, just based on statistics. Based on the stats alone, you have the 5-0. I believe really, my bus group boys, I can't down for a minute. I think they're going to win, but I still think after the last game, they've got a lot of work to do to prove themselves. Um, once again, against the side of Faint Gaming. I mean, we talked about it in the pre-game that Faint Gaming have been together forever. Um, so they're in for a bit of a rough ride when it comes to uh, this official all-in-all. All. Um, pretty... Uh, Pretty scared for the bus crew, but I'm still a bus crew fanboy, so I'm going to say they're going to win this game. But um, they've got to do, they've got to pull out all the stops. Yeah, I mean, if they perform like they did in the qualify on this map, and you know they did win five zero, it was against the Finns in the qualifier, so that you know they probably feel themselves quite happy on this map. So you know we could see like two very very good teams on a map they're both very very comfortable on, which is going to lead to some great TF2 hopefully. Who's going to get frag first on the mid fight? Give me a prediction. Frag first. Oh, I think it's going to be Martin. Oh, that's bold. Because I was going to say Yon. <laughs> so we've just picked two bus crew core players and think they're going to die first. And that's what's going to happen in this game. 
So uh, I, guess, I guess we're not expecting much from this first mid fight for Buster. No. <laughs> my uh, my mind's eye is just saying that they're they're not gonna win this mid fight. I don't I don't know what I don't know why. Um, yeah. Well, also, I was gonna. I like to do this with some casters now. So one of the new things that I'm doing now. But pineapple on pizza. Tell me, is it uh, yes or no? Uh, degeneracy, in my opinion. Wow! Finally, someone with the same opinion as me. It's uh, if you disagree with us, feel free to let us know in chat. But how can you put fruit on pizza apart from tomatoes? That's the only one. Yeah. Because that counts as a fruit for some reason. Well, yeah, apparently. <laughs> I guess it has seeds. It has seeds in it, therefore it's a fruit. I mean, I saw some other like fruity pizzas. Like um, I've heard of the banana pizza before. Oh god! And I just, that's that just sounds hideous. I mean, uh, no, banana pizza sounds awful. Just keep it simple. Yeah, <laughs> keep it simple. Yeah. Margarita, just, margarita pepperoni. Is damn good. Yeah. Either of those two, it's good. You don't need anything else. When they put the oregano on the top of a margarita and just make it all oh, delicious stuff. <laughs> We've got our producer writing in chat as well. <laughs> okay, well, we, we've talked we've talked up a lot about uh, the faint gaming, like how powerful they are potentially on this map. What do you think, like for bus crew? Give us some kind of ray of hope from a bus crew fanboy. All right, bus crew ray of hope. Yon activates, becomes Super Saiyan, dives into the enemy team, kills everyone. They uh, get absolutely annihilated. Um, there is no contention whatsoever. They just taunt in the choke point, and then Yon just, you know, destroys them with his big muscly arms, and then they push all the way to last. Vanny taunts on the point for no reason, dies, and they cap it out. I think you could make a lot of money with that fan fiction. <laughs> <laughs> and then Warped is uh, Warped and making out with poison in the corner. That's fan fiction for you. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one thing, one thing I will say is. The, in in the previous map, even though they lost 5-0, the bus crew did have some pretty decent mid fights. So you know, if they win those mid fights just a little bit clean on this map, is a little bit different. Obviously, if they do win it a little bit cleaner, perhaps they can convert some of the last pushes they weren't able to on process, and we could be in for a much closer game. I mean, you did say it before that their um uh, their focus fire on the mid fights was really good, like. Tempus and Slash did a really good job of focus firing, but not only did they have a good job of focus firing, on the first mid fight we saw uh, Warped going for a bomb and Poison get the clean up with a beautiful like little jump rocket to follow him behind. So I feel like they've got the coordination it takes. Whether they can beat our heavy DM team like Faint Gaming is, a, is another question, but we are heading in towards our first mid of Sunshine. Noel's going to be heading all the way in, going to be taking up this right hand side. Looks like Mac is going to be mirroring as well. These mids and Yon's going to be firing some seeds into that choke. Max is going to be getting an arrow, and so is Yon getting a bit of a beam. As they rot rotate across against their irrespective cafes, Warp's going to be taken up on towards Flowers, getting a bit of space for his team. Heading all the way back into towards that choke, and no one has actually spotted him go that way. Maybe Voxy, only just, but it's going to be Hugo going in for a high bomb with Opti into his corner, and Martin's getting crushed, and Yon goes down first. So I was correct on first person to get frags, and everyone goes in. Warp's going to be bombing in, does find Vanny, fortunately, so no massive move, but that's going to be a wipe for the side of the Musker, unfortunately. Yeah, consolation prize there for Warped at the very, very end of the mid-fight. I mean, he went behind for an absolute mile. He went behind, read a book or something. Came back just about comes in time and to see his team get crushed, but does get the consolation prize. So there's not going to be any uber advantage. Yeah, unfortunately for them. I mean, Yeehaw now getting fragged on last, trying to go for something onto Martin. Couldn't quite find it. So one down for the side of Faint Gaming. No one is currently on second, so... Uh, the Buster are going to be able to reclaim a bit of ground here despite wiping on that mid fight. And they're able to get second, which is more than they could have hoped for here. Martin's still on that Uber charge. Vanny, I believe, is still on Uber. Um, yeah, he is. Um, so it looks like they're just going to be both chilling out here. And we've got our first stalemate off the map, but Sunshine, plenty of sack opportunities to get here. Yeah, the tons of options. We see Yeehaw decided he didn't fancy this side, but just yet he's going to come up on scout. So we're just going to see a, probably a little bit of posture. I mean, everyone's just nicely positioned here. No one's taking any chances. We're, you know, we're only a minute into this game, so <laughs> they're not doing too much just yet. But we'll see if we see some soldiers jump in. See if we can get some soldiers buffed up. They're making their way over towards Cafe with their heels. 
which means that they're just going to be causing a little bit of a distraction. Maybe showing their heels, thinking that a trade's going to come through, and then bomb Opti from Flowers. Looks like the play. Um, Opti's going to be sitting in that corner. Poison's actually spotting him out now. Opti going to be going for the high bomb in and around the lighthouse. Going to be launched into the air, and Slash kills him in the skybox with that scout gun shot. So nice little deny there. And Poison's going to be looking for a counter sack here, but Yeehaw is already watching Flowers, so they've got to come up with some other ideas here. Yeah, both soldiers wanted to flowers what is in cafe, but I think they're both seen and they're both <laughs> going to get completely denied. It's kind of difficult from this second point to get a soldier in position. You know, everything is being watched here from faint gaming. They just look super strong in the hold, eyes on everything, and <laughs> we're probably going to see another sack from them. No counter sack could come in at all. Yeah, I think when you're playing Sunshine, you've got to coordinate your whole team to make some space to make the sack happen. So if you're going to sack from Flowers, you've got to move your heels over, get your demo over there, so fire stickies at that scout, and then bomb your soldier around the corner to make that sack happen. As Hugo is actually going to be bombing in uh, in towards Flowers, and uh, the counter one comes in from Poison, good damage on towards G-Horus. Opti goes in from the choke and dies, so nice distraction there from the flank as Opti flew in but couldn't quite get the force. Yeah, as you said, like you need to make a distraction on one side and then potentially a bomb can come from there. It was a nice bomb, got nicely onto Martin, uh, but he, he just put himself like nicely safely in that little lighthouse area and Opti was cleaned up pretty pretty sharpish. Easy stuff coming out there as Hugo actually getting a fragment towards Walk on Cafe trying to get some space to try and make a sack play happen, but it looks like Fing Gaming. They've given up on just trying to send sacks, and they're just going to send most of their team from Choke. So obviously, he's now going to bomb in through Flowers once again. Good damage onto Martin. Can't quite find anything else, and it's going to be another reset. And they're just going to head all the way back. So good space taken from Fate. Definitely on the right track, because finally, they hit Martin for some damage on this sack attempt. So uh, they're getting there, eventually. Might take four or five more. Yeah, you can see Fate going there. Very keen to push. They got a little more keen to sack, at least. They got a lot of players in that choke point. Like, it did look briefly like could, something could have gone down with uh, Yon perhaps getting damaged down into that choke point, but it, it was only only a mere distraction for the sack to come in. See Poison go down now, uh, so again there's an opportunity here for Fate to be the aggressors. Looks like they have finally opted for let's send Opti in through in behind on Flowers. And they've actually taken loads of space here. Yeehaw is all the way up on tiles. And uh, they have got Opti currently in behind getting chased all the way out. And actually they get a kill on Warped. And they're able to just push all the way in. Good damage on the Hempus. And they actually have to use out the Supercharge right now. And Martin's going to be having to run all the way back to the Shutter as they did use first. Um, they're going to be chasing with the Super on the side of Faint. They're able to claim second off of them. So nice little off Uber play pretty much. Uh, not using that Uber until they got all the way in. But they did find three frags as they cap out the second point. Moving in towards last. Going to be going for the off Uber push into last. John's going to be desperately trying to stick up that point. Good damage from him onto these players. Hempy just trying to kill those soldiers off. And Voxy find the fragment to Hempy there. Opti hit the point. Max is going to be standing on Yonah with a ball. Gets the kill. It's going to be oh. Martin standing on Opti. Steps off, unfortunately, there. And now actually the cap goes through. Yeah, with other, the frags that went down, it was all down to Yon to do as much as he, he pushed out all his ammo onto the point, got as much damage as he could. Cat ended up going from melee. He did get the kill, but the cap time is just too much there for Fate. Unfortunate there for the side of the bus crew. Nice little round though, taking a little while on the clock there um, to get their game through. And it looks like uh, it's going to be Fate Gaming coming towards this choke now. Mark, Mac actually rolled out through Flowers. It looks like they're going to be contesting each other here, just rotating directly in towards one another. So what's going to be bombing in very deep. Massive damage onto Mac. And Mac is getting absolutely slain on this clock tower as she falls off the tower and dies. Bomb coming in from Opti there in towards Martin. Can't quite find the damage there. Nice movement there from Martin to keep himself alive. And Vanny manages to escape. Yeah, interesting. Mac got bombed very, very early onto the mid. He actually surfed onto the clock tower itself. I think he got a pipe onto a scout as well while that was all happening. But he couldn't get stable crown and fell on, uh, created to his death. And obviously with no demo on the fight, they, they couldn't sustain it. Uh, they do have Uber though. That is a saving grace. It's the saving grace indeed. Martin's going to be coming in towards lobby with the supercharge as Poison going for a sack attempt does in fact die there as they've got the Sinch Gun set up on the left-hand side with the Pyro. So while they set that up, I don't really think they're going to be going for any counter sacks anytime soon. Opti is trying to get in, uh, but he's actually on the banner right now, so there's no point in him sacking where he can just build up the banner and relax. Yeah, just going to have a little bit of banner action, I guess. I mean, the, there's no penalty for it on this last point. I mean, you, you perhaps can't go for a sack as much as you want to do, but you're going to be spamming so much more on the last point than you, you are likely to be sacking. 
We also see Foxy is going to be on Sloper as well. So, kind of a little bit of double gimmick, mm. but he does get picked up super quick. And we can see the bus group getting very, very aggressive on this left hand side. Yeah, they've got to worry about this gun that Manny is sitting behind currently. Poison's actually peeked in this spot out now. Wolf getting pinned to the wall. Does manage to survive there, though. They're going to be trying to spam this corner with them. The beauty of this sentry gun is it's so far off to the right that you've got a peak so deep that once you get that deep, it's got a nice angle to pin you to the wall, and there's not a lot you can do about it. So this new gun position that's been discovered by these premiership teams is absolutely amazing, and it makes it so hard to sack onto the mid. Yeah, it's also really, really hard to spam out. You can see how deep you potentially have to go from the left-hand side to spam it. You can't really spam it from under either. So, yeah, very, very nice position. Very difficult to deal. They are pushing from the left side. They're just going to bully them a little bit. Not to position through on the left, but only Opti going down. Uh, they're not really getting anywhere near the cap. They're probably going to have to leave pretty quickly. Lots of damage coming down. Hempus and Poison go down, and they do decide to get out of there. Nice try, they were trying to come across and spam that gun, but Yeehaw was very vigilant, had so much metal to play with, just absolutely healed out that gun, so nothing could be done. They're going to be trading out the Zoobas and Bobby with Warped. Max is going to be going all the way in, though. He's very keen to get in on this fight. Warped getting juggled a little bit. He's going to have to jump away from this, actually taking a ton of damage. Manages to escape, though. Yon with the kill onto Voxy. Nice little pipe from him coming through. Is Vandy getting juggled in the, in the door? Only just manages to surf away. Lots of damage down. Looks like they're going to be able to move in towards Lobby and get some aggression going. One down on Voxy. Oxy still getting healed up. This gun, however, is still at large. They've got to deal with it before they can make anything happen. Yeah, that's so much damage. They would potentially be able to go for a push, but obviously with that gun that they have to deal with, they're not going to be able to enter from that right-hand side. They're peeking now from the left side, but all the buffs are up for faint, so it's going to be much, much more difficult. So they're trying once again to take this right-hand side on this last. They can spam across at that gun, but not a lot can be found here. Vanny sitting comfortably behind that sentry gun, so not a lot they can really do here. I feel like... The, the, the way you can do this, right, there is a theory that if you send in one soldier and then stagger the next soldier, only just staggering, uh, behind the other one, that one of them gets murdered by the sentry gun and the other one gets in through clean. That's the theory. I think there's, that also if, if you do the very, very skillful sp speed shot from under, you probably won't get picked up from the sentry gun. You obviously need a very, very high level of skill on, on your jumper. I mean, Warped, I've seen him do a lot of jump ups on his stream. He's potentially what I'd be looking for to do that kind of speed shot from under. Yeah, I, I feel like he's got what it takes to make that speed shot happen, and uh, they're not opting for it now. I feel like they're definitely wanting to try and spam this top right area and try and get some damage onto that gun. 20 minutes remaining on the clock, and he won zero so far to the side of Faint Gaming, so. Lots of time still to play with. Um, I think Opti is currently uh, still not on his banner. He played it before and then couldn't quite find the damage anywhere. So decided to swap off, go back on gunboats and do what he does best. And looks like they're going to be taking once again on this right hand side. Realizing that this might be the possible solution. But this pyro now on the gun, making it insanely difficult. Slash actually going down, could potentially go in for an off class here. Yeah, that looks like a very, very blatant sack for an off class. Slash went really, really deep. Didn't get anywhere near anything that could threaten him. I mean, the only threat that was posed was a sentry gun to himself. So he goes down to the sentry gun. And what are we going to see him spawn on? He's spawned on Sniper. I would have loved to see a spy play, but they've got this pyro. So probably a pretty wise decision coming out uh, for Slash here. It's going to be Opti actually spotting him on the Sniper class. So it has already been called before this Sniper even comes in. So nice job from Opti there. And now they're going to bring the pressure all the way forwards on the side of Faint Gaming. They don't want to give the Sniper any room whatsoever. They actually hear the SMG going off, so it has definitely been confirmed uh, for the side of Faint Gaming. The Sniper's at large, and Vox actually finding the headshot already onto him as they get tons of damage onto Warped as well, and they find two here, so now they're going to go for a bit of a play into one second. Yeah, Hugo needs to get buffed up here. It's down to 80 health, otherwise he could have gone for a bomb. Most soldiers are underneath. This is where we see the downside of the battalion. Opti dropping very, very low on health, but he doesn't have those gunboats if he wanted to go for some kind of bomb. Looks like they're able to move all the way in towards second here with the side of Faint Gaming. Vanny hasn't had to use a Martin though, getting forced off by Opti. So the Zuba is going to be going down already. And Faint Gaming able to take this point, but Warp's going to be bombing in behind Vanny and gets the force out of him. Very nice play there from Warp. Yeehaw still up on Engineer. Is going to finally be swapping off, and they're going to get some pressure in towards mid already. Vox is going to be clearing the way for his team. And Buscar are going to be sitting out in their flowers, already ready to leave, and they're just going to give up mid and go back to their second. Martin with a slight uber advantage, but not a lot to, you can really use because it's sunshine, these points are so long. Interesting there, Buscar. 
they had two players down, but obviously with Yeeho already rolling out for the engineer very, very late, I think they could have potentially held on to that mid that midpoint. Like, they gave it up completely for free. A little bit of fear perhaps creeping in for them. They have got 5-0 on that, that first map, but if they're going to do better on the second map, they need to perhaps be a little bit more ballsy. Yeah, I expect that they just saw the uh, the match HUD and they were like, yeah, we see you, they've got player advantage and we're not going to fight them here. I don't... They, they just decided, you know what? Nah, you're right. Um, we're not going to take this fight, so they just go all the way out to second. But so now they're in this situation where they're just going to sit and get sacked at for a while longer and they're in exactly the same position they were in on process where they're just going to get launched at until their hope breaks. Yeah, it's definitely the case that it's easier to sack into second than it is to sack into mid. See a little bit of jump in and wow. jump out. I think both soldiers <laughs> managed to jump in and out from different positions, different angles. Uh, so it means they just, once they get buffed up again, they're going to be able to go for a similar thing immediately. Yeehaw is just uh, sitting around with his medic now in this corner and they're just going to be healing him up. Uh, n nice here, healing up our scouts, sorry Voxy even, and uh, chilling out in cafe, trying to make a little bit of a distraction play happen. Opti's still sitting towards that choke, waiting for Martin to come across. So when you uh, bring your heals over to cafe, you kind of expect that they rotate their combo to meet the enemy combo so they don't get so much room. And uh, Martin just not obliging, he just does not want to move, which is the exact right play to make. And the rest of the team has to come to you when you're in a situation where you're just going to get sacked at for so long. The other thing is we've seen both demos have been very, very keen to sticky up cafe. So they're opting for, to go for a flowers rotate. They put the heels in there. The soldier comes in through choke. Opti does get cleaned up there by poison. So they're just going to go back. Just a little bit of distraction through flowers. As soon as the spam came in, it was just a distraction for a sack. It didn't quite pay off. Unfortunate there for the side of Faint Gaming. It looks like Hugo's going to be going, taking some space in the high, uh, on the high ground. Poison now jumping in, in towards Vanny. Does get a rocket down onto him, but not enough damage to get the force out of him, unfortunately. And the rest of the team on Faint Gaming, very low. So it's going to be hard for them to move forwards now to get some kind of sack going in return. Yep, they need to wait for their buffs. Both soldiers on 183 health, so they're probably not very keen to jump. They are making space here. Being quite ballsy here, they get it looks to get a scout but Yeeho's just W again. He does get taken out by Yacht. I think a pipe and a sticky there saved him when he was on very, very low health. If he'd got that pick, that would have completely opened it up. But Yon wins out. Yeah, Yon with his very, very capable DM his giant rippling biceps, able to rip Yeeho asunder. So, uh, a great play from there from him. And what's going to be bombing in through this choke? Can't quite find Vanny because Vanny is already on cafe, he's in a totally different position. So, Nice uh, positioning from Vanny just to throw off that soldier. Nothing they can really do there to get that sack through and working. So as we saw Yeeho, he's now up on the sniper. He's trying to be very, very sneaky about this. He's in fact hiding behind a wall. They haven't heard anything from him yet, so they might not be expecting. There's a decent spam coming out to flower, and now they've heard the shot ring out from the sniper rifle. They have, they're going to be a little bit more wary. We'll see if they change the positioning. But at the moment, Martin is nice and safe behind the lighthouse. Yeehaw is just peeking on flowers and poisons now to recognize this is going to be moving all the way around. Slash also just trying to deal a little bit of scagger damage through. Yon actually getting headshot here. Needs to be careful there, not even buffed. And also Martin actually moving out of position here just to heal him up. And now the bombs come through on towards flower. Tons of damage down on towards his faint gaming side, but poison dying for it in the process. The rest of faint gaming going to get healed up with their player advantage now, and they're going to abuse their sniper in towards cafe. I like what faint doing here. They're completely just moving. Uh, the bus crew around, they're peeking from different angles. This time they're going from cafe. Obviously, there were not going to be any stickies there because they moved to the Soldier comes in though and gets the force while they're all worried about that sniper. Looks so like they do manage to find Yeehaw, however, in cafe. Warps is in fact in. He's going to be jumping all the way around into flowers. So he's got pressure from behind. They're going to go for this kind of pincer maneuver in towards this choke. And Vanny's just been walking up. Doesn't actually use that as a but Martin is nowhere to be seen. He's run all the way back in towards the shutter here. And the rest of uh, the bus crew actually in towards mid. It's going to be Warp, Slash, and Poison all trying to fight on this mid. Going in for Vanny here. Just going for a sack attempt. They can't quite find it. Max's been left out to dry on this midpoint here. Poison's going to be dropping down off that high ground, getting very, very weak and chased around by Yeehaw. He's too weak, needs an arrow can't quite find it unfortunately it's gonna be martin and yon retreating through flowers the bomb comes in from hugo it's gonna be martin trying to shoot on the low ground gets two rocks down by opti yon with a nice pipe to force opti away but opti finds the frag there so loads of players going down for the side of the bus crew vanny up with a 45 percent uber going to be able to pressure last that was really really interesting we saw the uber come in there from faint they only had the three players alive it was i think max uh, sorry, uh, Mac, 
Lux and the Medic Vanny. The Uber came in, the players completely separated, so it looked really dire for them for a sec, but the spawners came in completely outclassed the bus crew in that in that kind of post Uber kind of messy chaos DM fight. And now they're gonna have quite a large advantage that they're gonna look to take in. Looks like they're going to be coming in on this right-hand side. Mac has popped out the supercharger with Vanny, and looks like they are able to take down the sentry gun pretty much immediately. Going to be heading across here. Yugo's going to be bombing in towards Yon. Does a lot of damage to him. Can't go and find it. Cap is being pressured now by the scouts. Vanny gets air shot by Poison there on top of the point as well. Vox is getting forced all the way back here. Warped is very weak. They need to heal up these soldiers if they can have any hope of defending this point. Warp gets an arrow eventually. Martin's now getting pressured from behind by the scout. Eventually cleaned up. Warped is the lone survivor. The cap goes through, and Fame Game are going to claim it 2-0. Oh, you can see that was very nice there from Fink Game. They got a lot of cap time on the point. All of the bus crew uh, collapsed on it. It was a good collapse, like both the soldiers nicely tick and the scout as well. But then Fink Game with the remaining players, they're all quite weak, but they scattered perfectly and they all then attacked from different angles. No one was quite had vision on who they wanted to target, no focus fire, and the cap comes in for Fink and it's 2 0. Unfortunate there for them, and it's going to be another round where they've got to try and pull themselves back in towards this game. And Hugo is going to be taking that high ground off the enemy team, but Poison has different ideas. He's bombing directly into the enemy team. Mac is still at large, however, pinned in the corner away from the rest of his team. Hugo's going to be trying to desperately bomb towards Martin. Lots of damage. But nice little surf there from Martin just to get away. Going to be collecting the health pack from Cafe, and he's going to survive. Yeah, Vanny and Yeo got out super, super early. I don't know if that was a deliberate, very, very aggressive mid, uh, but they, they did opt to. Yeah, really. They're just going to leave one game run cap, so they are going to, there's not going to be spawners here to contest second. So they, they're going to get a second basically for free, no contestion, but it is going to be even Ubers. Yeah, it's going to just be an even Uber situation here. Martin's going to be up to 95% and they're going to have a little bit of a stalemate here. And just to kind of relax, chillax, and Voxy is going to be building that sentry gun up on the right hand side. No snipers to be seen so far, no pyros, so it's just going to be a very relaxed time and now is the opportunity now for bus crew to send some kind of sack in while that gun is such a low level already up to level two however so they're building this gun with haste and they've got to make some stuff happen before this hold gets initialized you are also up on the sniper so more pressure is going to be coming out soldiers are just opted to spam from this right hand side for now but hugo does have the heal beam on him so he's going to be able to win that spam or one, you know, 1v2 effectively just with the heals on him the gun is now up to level three but it's not quite in position yet so if the, if the soldiers want to Go in for a sack. This is perhaps their small window that you go for it. So like, the bus crew now just going to be trying to pick their soldiers in this top right corner. And it looks like the Feng Gaming are very, um, very aware that moving this gun would open up some kind of opportunity here for Warped, who's been very, very good at noticing that and able to sack in multiple times. So they're not wanting to move this gun while they've got this even player situation going on. So just going to leave where is Mac getting directed twice though. Nearly going down there. Walks is actually building up his banners. So is Poison. So they're going to be building up this conch and battalions combo that they've got. To maybe go in, take an Uber trade, come out to trade, and then pop both banners, go back in with a push, and try and make a round happen. Yeah, they've got the double banner. Opt is on a battalions himself, but he's only at 40%. So the double banner is up here for the bus crew if they want to make something happen. I mean, it'll be much more effective. The Uber is coming in from the right side. It's going to be a little bit of a trade. The gun does go down. A little bit of aggression here from Fake Gaming into lobby but now we're going to see them re-push with the banner here we like go it's gonna be insane they're coming in everyone is buffed up they got the boost they got the damage rate oh the damage oh. stick is coming from mac taking down yon and slash and this banner play that they had that was so good has been annihilated everyone's been murdered and those banners went from poggers to shit in no time at all if only there was a banner that made you immune to sticky traps then that would have worked but unfortunately they they all barrel in you know six gamers to the left side really really great idea but the sticky traps from mac were in the perfect position and they completely destroy them unfortunately yon is actually being held out to dry here on this mid he's gonna get destroyed here actually cleaned up by Opti, who comes in from behind Opti currently still on his man of vanny with a very nice stuff there uh to get on top of that spire and warped and poison they're trying their best to get on top of him he's such a slippery fish actually jumping all the way back towards the choke here and the rest of the bus crew are going to be coming in martin's going to be left a dm on 98 percent but poison finding those frags in that choke opti's still at large yeah martin's not 100 percent Opti is behind, I think. He's got a full banner of Italians back up behind in a little bit of a skirmish with a pyro who oh, I think he's going to swap off back to scout now. We hear, hear the banner come in. 
but he's so far behind, I don't know what he's going to be able to do with it. <laughs> Once again, he's going to be walking around with this banner popped, and there's not a lot he's going to be able to do with it. So he's going to be walking all the way to the rest of the action. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we've got Bus Crew coming in. Poison and Wolf incredibly damaged as they try and make their way in towards this point. Martin's going to have to fire off multiple arrows. And Opti is walking across mid right now, trying to get to the enemy team. With this banner still deployed, Martin has that Uber to play with, so they're just going to be taking this Uber into, large, into last, and Opti is eventually going to use his banner and make his way back to the rest of the team. And it looks like Yon actually getting headshot off this Uber, so this Uber is a total disaster. And Martin now going to be coming to the top left hand side, Opti with the pickaxe because he ran out of ammo. <laughs> <laughs> with the banner popped, and they're all just gonna die on the side of Buster. I have no idea how they whiffed that. That was incredible. That was just absolute chaos. I mean, Opti's play with the banner was the worst I've ever seen. He comes in behind, contested. fails his bomb, goes into the light, misses his bomb on the light tap, doesn't manage to clean up the scout in time. But he does eventually manage to kill the scout, even though the cap had gone down. But all, all that time, Buscre were just cringing in their push and couldn't make it work. <laughs> Some so, of the most disastrous team fortress we've seen. <laughs> oh no. That was all kinds of cringe from both sides, mainly Opti, but uh, the Buscre are also feeling that push. Yon getting the debt onto Yeehaw. Gonna slow down Fate Gaming a little bit. Also, Hugo on the high ground here getting mega damage. Poison gets the force, in fact. And he's just gonna be running in behind, dragging this Uber all the way back. So. Opportunity is here for the bus crew to come back into it. Tons of damage down, but you can see they're all down to half HP and Vandy down to 10. So Yeeho here, two damage on the point to take some kind of direct fight. So the rest of the bus crew are going to be coming all the way forwards, forcing them all the way back. And Martin is going to have Uber advantage to play with. Yeah, huge play from Poison. I don't know if it was him that was doing all that damage, but they're so, so weak. They do keep the players alive, but now most of them have decent buffs, so they're not going to be able to transition into a second push. Uh, but they have held, mostly held on to mid here. Oh, Martin, that was beautiful. Just sidesteps two rockets, manages to survive there with 100% Uber still in play. Uh, so it looks like he's going to be running through this doorway. Actually gets a meat shot there, holds onto that Uber charge. So, Martin, no fear from him. Yeehaw runs in. They actually use out the Super Charge just to get that kill on towards Yeehaw. So, a little bit of a, after a really good play, a little bit of a questionable pop there. But it looks like Sticky's up on the left hand side from Mac once again. Hempy's going to be running in, trying to clear out those Stickies, and he actually gets it piped down by Mac. Nice punch from him to find that frag. And Opti's going to be there to defend. Hugo coming in on this uh, bat area. Hugo going to be bombing in, just get some space for his combo to get in, they use out the super very very early on the side of Fane Gaming, no pressure there uh, from the side of Bus Crew whatsoever, but looks like Poison goes in from the flank and dies, and it's going to be Fane Gaming take a second. Yeah, they're going to take a second, and they got Yon in that Uber as well, so that's going to give them a lot of opportunity in, into this mid fight, it's going to be no demo spam that they have to worry about, going to make it much cleaner entry, and we'll regardless of where they push up. Now I take it through flower, no demo to worry about, so no stickies and no pipes from coming in, and it's really, really clean, they just walk in. Easy peasy, Martin actually has that Uber advantage to use, and it looks like they're gonna be able to cap out this point, and then they're just gonna to opt to play passive in their choke and build out the super smudge so they can. Vanny is fake calling, trying to rustle their jimmies on the side of bus crew, so it looks like Slash actually getting arrowed in that valley area. Poison also gonna be chilling out there, but they find Hugo very early on as Hempy runs in the doorway, they clear up these stickies, and they make their way in towards mid. Looks like they want to cause more pressure, though. They're not worried about blocking these respawners. They just want to use this ad. And they're going to be running in towards Choke here. The Ubers are going to be evening up very soon. But Hempy taking all that space for a scene very early on. As Wolf's going to be bombing in nice and deep in towards the spawn door. But uh, not going to be able to find anything. as two scouts in his way. Hugo actually managing to catch that forward spawn. Because he didn't get oh. blocked out there. Yon going down, unfortunately. Going to buy a lot of space now from the side of Fate. Yeah, nice air shot there from Ops. Comes in, bombs Yon. He just peeked a little bit too far. Oh, Clean air shot there onto it. No demo now on the mid. It's going to be much more difficult. They do have the Uber. They could trade into the mid choke if they wouldn't. Shut them down a little bit. Yeehaw goes down on the flank somewhere. Uh, so that's going to be a little bit of aggression. I mean, Yeehaw is really kind of this kind of aggressive power. How he kind of drives the team forward. So with him going down, they opt to back up a little bit. A lot of space being offered to the bus crew here. I mean, we're down to three and a. 3 minutes 50, so they've got to make a move, and it looks like they're trying to do it. <laughs> Mac is isolated, they're actually getting cleaned up very easily, and Yon's still at large, so the demo man advantage for the side of the bus crew. Martin, no! He drops the Uber, Wolf's just going to stand still and die, because he knows that this is absolute cringe. And now the rest of the team of the bus crew are getting wiped there. It's so sad that Martin didn't use that Uber. <sighs> just disaster. I don't know... Like, I don't know if it's just a really clean two shot, he just went to the milk a little bit too long, but yeah, just disaster. They really needed that to work. It's down to just three minutes now, 2 0 down. 
backs really against the wall. They're going to have to go in some, some kind of crazy play, go some kind of drop onto Vanu perhaps. They need something to go right for them and they need it quick. They need something on the board here. If they're going to make anything happen, three minutes remaining on the clock. It's going to be obviously jumping all the way back here, causing a little bit of room for the Solar Blast crew to use, but Slash going down is not what they need at this point in time, and Poison and Warp are just going to be chilling out on towards their own pack. And it looks like Martin's up to 50% Uber, Vanny up to 90% basically, so uh, Uber advantage to play with um, for Fent Gaming. Whether they use it or not is another question, but it looks like they are going to be moving their heels in um, eventually here. Going to be moving up on towards Flowers. Max already in through Choke. So you guys going to be bombing in, getting a bit of space on towards Tiles as they move their heels in through Choke. And now they're just going to pin them on last for the remaining two minutes to secure this uh, uh, this match here. But it looks like Mac getting bombed by Poison. A little bit of space created here, but it looks like loads of damage into this lower right area. Everyone is on red HP right now. In fact, Warped getting directed in lobby by Opti. So Opti there, very nicely done from him as well as Hugo. Yeah, Hugo and Opti were just pounding them with his rocket. <laughs> they're all punched up. They did so much damage. They don't look to take it to last with the Yeehaw really, really deep behind the ball. It's just a distraction for Hugo who comes in, picks up Hempus, forces the Uber out. It's capped on point. <laughs> Fake gaming. They played really, really aggressive. That there's just two players, there's just three players back with the medic, and they're gonna have a Uber advantage. Although, did Vanny use at some point? He apparently did use. I uh, didn't quite spot what he used because I was too focused on everyone on last. Um, apparently, according to production, he got forced in lobby. Someone must have done something incredible. I bet it was poison. He's a he's a beautiful man. So um, yeah, I'm just once again fan fiction. But Warp getting killed here on second box. He's currently on a rampage. Um, he's destroying everyone, running in towards lobby here. Um, as Hempy also dies, one minute remaining. It is going to be GG. There is no way for the bus crew to come back in this game. Faint gaming are going to be running all the way to the last, charioting on their good feelings. Slash currently on from heavy, going to be trying to defend this point. Can't quite do anything, as he is a slow fat man and can't quite get to the point in time. GG has been called by the side of the bus crew. And it's going to be 3-0 to the side of Faint Gaming in this official. Yeah, nice air shot there again from Opti. I hope he's winning the air shots on the logs for sure, because we've seen a couple of nice ones come out from him. Uh, I mean, really, really strong here from Faint Gaming. You know, it hasn't been super clean this map, uh, but they've, they've just had the better of it. When, you know, whenever it's got a little bit messy, they just looks a little bit stronger. Holy moly, Hugo, that was quick. Ended up in the enemy flowers before the mid fight even starts. And gets him nuked down pretty much immediately. It's going to be uh, Yon as well, trying to fight from flowers. And chillaxing, relaxing, as we are. Just going to go to some logs, because this game is absolutely over. Wow, Vanu there, surviving by landing perfectly onto that, that, that little hut there. I think if he hadn't landed on it and landed on the low ground, he would have actually created. But really nice play there. Very one of the very most mechanically skilled medics. We seen him pull it out, pulled it out a lot in this game, and that was really nice to see. Oh yeah, you guys can't see this on stream, but a crit screen just happened. They killed everyone with it. I was, uh, you know, you all picking up some frags in the dying seconds of that game. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some numbers to look at. So 3-0 to the Sun of Fink game. Going to be taking away all six points in this first official, uh, netting themselves some very early points in the season. Very nice for them. Going to be pushing themselves forward already. Yeah, they, they look really strong. I mean, the bus crew will, f will feel like the second map was a little bit better for them. They definitely feel they can compete. Like They look pretty decent, to be honest, overall. But just... <sighs> When it when it came down to it, Faint were just a little bit stronger. Perhaps a little bit more time together as a team is really what won it for them. Yeah, I mean, if we thought about seedings whatsoever, you know, we we think that Faint Game are going to win this game. Um, you know, winning three zero in that fashion, you know, it was pretty solid from them. They very rarely made mistakes other than moving sentry guns. And I wouldn't even call that making mistakes. Uh, we've got some logs on the screen for you, ladies and gentlemen. So Yeehaw picking up twenty two frags. In that game, 9.7k damage for Hugo. Just a very dominant game for Faint. Yeah, big scout plays, both of them. Yeehaw and Vox, top fragging for the team. I mean, it's sunshine when, when your scouts are on fire and they're fragging. Uh, it's it's going to be difficult for the enemy team. Vox also surviving really well. 19 for 6, very, very good KD. Uh, so yeah, really the scout is, is perhaps what kind of propelled them to the victory. Yeah, I mean, if I'm going to talk about weaknesses from the side of the bus crew, I, I feel like they uh, they definitely had a game plan together, but they were 
maybe fearing a little bit too much in some situations. Um, Fain Gaming outplayed them in quite a lot of scenarios where they weren't quite watching some doors and then they let some things slip through. But um, you can say the same on sort of Fain Gaming. Poison managed to slip behind multiple times and got a load of damage down. 7.3k damage despite its 19 deaths and 11 frags is nothing to scoff at. and also dropped that Uber on second, causing a little bit of a disaster there. Yeah, there were a couple of those moments. Also that max sticky trap on last point when they would go in for that crazy banner push. I mean, I would like to see that banner push come off, but seeing Mac just destroy them was great to see as well. But yeah, just a couple of those moments there were kind of what made the difference for Fink Gaming. Uh, and looking forward into the season, the bus crew probably feel that they'll be able to compete with everyone. I mean, if I'm going to say it, I think the bus crew are definitely capable of beating a lot of the teams in Prem. I feel like against Fink Gaming and Nerd Rage, they've got a hard time, but I feel like everyone else is ripe for the taking. Um, Fink Gaming are definitely an established team, so they had a hard week one. But I feel like after this week, they're going to be ready, ready to go coming into week number two. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's all I really have to say. Mm. So, uh, uh, sorry, go on. No, no, I was just going to say... Uh... What do you think of like Fake Gaming's chances kind of looking to get perhaps a first seed? <sighs> They've got a tall order ahead of them if they're going to defeat uh, Nerd Rage. I mean, Nerd Rage are so, so dominant. I mean, they they seem to be pantsing everyone at the minute. Um, but, you know, I think that's mainly because of the, uh, the scouts. I think Gazi and Moral Alexi are just absolute powerhouses um josh on the main call seeds on medic you've got some very star-studded players um on that roster so they've got a tall order but i feel like their team play has only been getting better and better so i feel like they have got a shot but they just need to make it count on the day and not let the pressure of netrage get to them um i feel like that's what it's gonna take um but before we go anywhere uh have you got any shout outs you want to throw dave uh shout to fire massive cheers have you got any shout outs sir i will say them for you Do it. Mike and myself up. Shout out to my RGL team this season. It's been a great it's been a great season overall. Got our last match tonight, so I'm excited for that. Let's take on the W. Woo! Let's go. Um I'm gonna throw a few a few uh shout outs here. Shout outs to uh, Team Bless, love you all. Shout out to uh my boys uh in the team. It's been a good good time so far, looking forward to the season. And uh shout out to everyone at TV TV, TV. It's going to be another good season, and shout out to you guys in the chat. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in this evening, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace, guys.